Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, we are gonna look at the different install options for Power BI Desktop. Let's start the clock. There are a couple different options to install Power BI Desktop. It also depends on what operating system you're on. Power BI Desktop itself is for a Windows PC only. So if you're using a Mac, check out the video I did about your options for using Power BI Desktop on a Mac. If you're on Windows though, you have a couple of options. The first is you can go to powerbi.com, you can go over to products, and you can come down to Power BI Desktop, and then download Power BI Desktop here. If you're on Windows 10 and you select download free, it will actually take you to the Windows Store. So let me go and open up the Windows Store, and then this will be an option for you to install Power BI Desktop from the Windows Store itself. I've already got this installed on my machine, Power BI Desktop from the Windows Store. The benefit that the Windows Store option gives you is that it will automatically update Power BI Desktop every month so that you can stay up to date with the latest version of Power BI Desktop without having to worry about it but there are some organizations that block the Windows Store. So what do we do if we're in that situation? So let's go back and we'll go over to powerbi.com. There is this advanced download option. And when we select that, this will take us to the Windows Download Center and inside of the Download Center, if we just expand details, we will see that there is a Power BI Desktop MSI file as well as Power BI Desktop underscore 64. So this is an option where you can actually just get the actual install file and install it manually on your computer. And you have that choice of either 32-bit or 64-bit. Let me know if you're using 32-bit. I'm curious if anyone's actually still using a 32-bit machine any nowadays. So this installer will go ahead and install Power BI Desktop on your machine for the given month that you have downloaded it for. This also means that every month when a new Power BI Desktop comes out, you will have to re-download this again and update your install. So it could be a little bit of a pain, but it is an option for you if you don't have the Windows Store. Also, if you're not on Windows 10, if you're on Windows 7 or something else, then this is the way that you're gonna go ahead and install Power BI Desktop. All right, hopefully this helps you with figuring out what the best way is to go and install Power BI Desktop. You have some choices, Hopefully you're using the Windows Store to stay up to date every month. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below if you're using the Windows Store version or if you're actually installing the manual MSI. I'd love to know. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.